What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've been a long time subscriber, then you already noticed the difference between before and now. And I obviously have the new GTR grills. So initially there's two ways that you can go about this, is you can first either buy a carbon fiber hood, which is pretty sick, or you can buy a, you know, like addition to them and cut the hood out and whatnot. So basically how I install these is I cut the uh, hood open and you know, like I installed these and you can buy a whole set for I think a hundred bucks or something like that. Um, so that's what I did. This is going to be a tutorial or like a guide or you know like an overview if you will um, of how I install these grills basically and it's honestly not that hard. It's more about you know uh, saying goodbye to your hood and you know cutting into it with a grinder. So I think that's the biggest part that uh, kind of hit me because it's not every day that you see somebody you know cutting with an angle grinder into your car into your hood so it's a little little nerve-wracking so Anyway, moving forward. So what you're going to need for this project is, um, I would say, one of three things. Uh, maybe even four or five, but those are like little secondary things. So number one, obviously have your hood, um, have your grills, uh, glue that you trust, that's like a nice adhesive that you can uh, trust, you know, like that'll hold. And uh, tape and a measuring tape, that's basically all you're going to need. Um, just to, you know, be more precise or as precise as you possibly can be. Okay, so first off, what I started doing is I took the car apart, I dismantled it, you know, things that I was going to paint. So I, uh, before I put the grills on, before I did anything else, I, you know, took the hood off the car, I took the fender off the car because this was like a mismatched fender. I took the uh, front uh, grill hood mount or uh, the grill mounting little thing over there. I'm not sure what that thing is called, but I took that off as well and basically repainted those three things because of the severe rock chips that they had and this thing was just like peeling hard. So... I took off the hood, I circled around a bunch of areas just to see where my dents are because I had a clutch fan explode at one point and um, I don't know, just a whole bunch of like itty bitty dents. So um, you should see all of that on the picture. So next after I, you know, like circled everything else, uh, me and my dad, we got, went ahead, took a sander, sanded everything down. Um, and then we started going ham on it with a bondo, so like a body filler. So just just because I wanted like a straight, good looking hood, you know, like, cause I don't know if I'm ever gonna ditch this thing or not, but I want it to be as nice as possible. And you should see that on the screen as well. So moving on, um, there's like a whole bunch of bondo spots right there. And those are the circles that I put on and you can see the whole front end of that hood was just bondoed like crazy. And where my front right strut was, um, it's like around this general area. I don't know, for some reason, every single E36, they have this place where it kind of lifts up and like it hits the uh, hood strut or whatever. Or, you know, like where you put the strut inside or the coilover. And for some reason, that bolt always seems to like tap out the hood. So I had to make sure to hammer that in, which was also nerve wracking. So basically got all of that done and just kind of went on from there. So here in the photos you can see basically how hard I sanded everything down, uh, the fender, the hood, um, and that front grill mounting plate or whatever you want to call it. You can see how severe the rock chips actually were and you know like to post some Instagram car photos and stuff like that I had to always you know like in Photoshop uh, kind of seal them in or you know like fix up the rough edges and whatnot. So um, really took some time not as much as I would love to take with it, but you know, still. So from there, what we did is kind of like test fit where the grills would go, like where they would lay on the hood, how high up, or like, you know, like where they would be. Um, and my dad had a pretty good idea of tracing around the hood grills and uh, cutting them out in cardboard and kind of laying them down. And once we had the hood off, basically flipped it um, and we started tracing the uh, little, you know, like templates around. So we ended up getting really close to the hood frame and it was like kind of we had to kind of play around with it to see where the hood grills would kind of go and how far deep inside they would go and like and obviously you know you don't want to tamper with the rigidness of the hood or you know, like the dexterity so had to be as careful as possible with that but um you can see in the photos how we kind of traced it out there and basically after that after everything was looking good we just took a little angle grinder to it and just went to town from there So 
So once the angle grinder does its job around like the edges, like around these spots right here, like the straight lines, what we did is we took like a drill and for these tight corners, like right there and over there, we took a drill, went down on it and really helped to do that because you know, like you can't get into those spots really easily. So that's what we did with that. So obviously after going with an angle grinder, you know, you want to like smoothen out the edges and smoothen out the sides and you know, the straights. So basically what we did after that is we took like a little sander, like those small little ones that you would usually use for polishing, but with air and just kind of, you know, sanded it out, made it straight, made it look nice and, or, you know, as nice as we could get it. There's a few straights and corners that we didn't do too good with, but I'm not complaining. So after cutting everything out, this is what the hood started to look like. And I was already getting excited, getting antsy to see what it would look like as a finished product. So I was kind of like getting antsy. I was like, come on, let's go. Um, so after we cut everything out, we actually sent the hood, uh, fender, and the front mounting plates, grill mounting plate. I don't know what that thing is called, honestly. That's like the weirdest part on this car, I swear. Uh, basically, all of that went to paint um, after we prepped it, of course. So waited for that to dry off and everything like that. Anyway, moving along, uh, waited for the paint to dry, waited for everything to cure, the clear coat, all of that. And we found a nice uh, silicone substance that we would find to be very useful. I think it was silicone, maybe glue. I'm not sure. I th I'll probably have something like listed somewhere down below um, of what we used. But basically this glue works really good. I think it's glue. And like, even if you start pressing down on the grills, you know, like that's like to an extreme of how much force this grill would really see. And it'll never even see that kind of force. So. There's no need to like go overboard with, uh, you know, like pressure on him. So unless someone's being like stupid, unless someone's horsing around, and they start messing with your car, which is really messed up. Um, this glue holds perfectly. I mean, I took this car to Florida, to South Carolina. I took it to Georgia. Um, I've been out and about with this car already and it was perfectly fine. So it all held up. So basically here are the shots of how we're kind of laying down the glue. And, you know, we're like starting with the, uh, with the outside areas, being very careful not to, you know, go too far. And of course we went a little too far and put a little too much on and the glue started basically coming up on like the dried up hood right here. But you know, like you need over 24 hours for this to be fully cured or I'm, I'm thinking over 48 even, but we got that black residue on it, but it's whatever. So after we glued in the first grill, it was kind of nerve wracking. Uh, going on to the second one was a little easier because we already found out how to play with like the edges and how much glue to put on, where to put it, and uh, where to slide it in and whatnot. Um, basically, you just have to play around with it. There's no like specific way to do this, except for just mark, cut, and just wherever you want it, wherever you might like it to go. Um, obviously, I'll have pictures up on the screen, I think, right now of uh, how everything looks underneath the hood as well. Um, not the prettiest look, but you know, um, no one's literally ever going to see that. And if you really wanted to hide it, you could put the uh, stocky 36 fabric on it with a few cuts made to it. So really not that big of an issue. After it was all said and done, this is how the hood looks on the car. To me, at least, I love how they look. Some other people don't like it. I mean, I get it. it's not for everybody, but for me, for my preference, um, I love how it looks. It dissipates a lot of heat, literally like so much because you would come up to it while it's on, you would feel all the hot air literally coming out of here because I have like special fans under the hood, obviously, and you would feel everything come out. But really happy with that and really happy with how it looks. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If there's anything that you would like to know, if, the, if I missed anything, uh, go ahead and give me a comment, you know, like uh, comments on my Instagram or, you know, give me a shout, DM me, PM me, whatever. Uh, my Instagram is also going to be down there below. Um, so just let me know. I know a lot of you reach out to me of like what I did with the car bushings, turbo stuff like 
it was a big, big, big like help for me when other people had helped me with like experienced areas. So I'm glad to be here in this spot being able to help you guys also. So on that note, go ahead, click the like button, subscribe, and uh, you know, give me a few more comments what you think of these hood grills. Uh, if you think they're eh or if they look good, um, again, I love them, so really your opinion doesn't matter to me, but you know, just interesting to see who thinks what or how many people think what. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. See you guys next time.